I actually made this type of planner um, or journal. I made this journal, which is very similar to like the happy planner. My intention was to make something like this with the cinch. And I want to show you how the cinch works. It's kind of like a mini review on the new cinch. There's two um, cinch models. One of them does round um, holes, which is the new one. And the old one made squared holes. So a cinch used to make this type of binding, holes for the binding, and the new one makes circles. So I have the new one and I'm gonna be working on that today. And I'm also planning on updating. I made a, a couple of notes on what I will be working on today. Yeah, that's my goal. One project, one thing at a time. So. Um, I started this illustration a little bit ago and I wanted to show you a little bit of the process of drawing each piece before you actually see the front cover. The inspiration comes from a lot of spring, a lot of flowers. Um, I can't help it, but I always go back to drawing flowers. I wish I could draw like animals and sceneries, but I just stick to drawing like bouquets of flowers with nothing in the back, no other um, landscape background. And then I thought of making a sticker that would uh, have like an open book and then it would kind of resemble the Bible um, or, you know, Proverbs. And then it would say small but mighty. I wanted to do that and I was not able to um, add it on the update but I probably will be on another time I couldn't quite decide what I wanted to do for the uh, color of the background but I did however um, finish the design and I do have it pending on my next um, Etsy update I like to create um, the outline with the pencil that is the hard shape that way it the lines are more smooth and the Cricut is able to cut it a little bit better this to my shop for the longest time and today you and I are both gonna open the cinch box I ordered it from walmart.com because I could not find it anywhere there was the older model that has squared um, punches because this is a binding machine so this is the one that makes the round holes and we are making notebooks so I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and start opening this. I love the teal color of the packaging. Uh, it came in a brown box, but we don't need to see that to reopen this. So really neatly packaged and pretty free from, there's an instruction manual in there as well. So you get the binding tool. I did find their how-to video on YouTube, so I was able to just copy that from the previous model. The only difference is that this one has uh, round punches rather than squared punches, but it kind of gives you a little bit of recommendations on how to use the holes. I am going to, I've already designed one of the, um, 
model, uh, one of the front pages that I want on the notebook. And I'm gonna go ahead and start using this to hole punch my first, very first notebook, yay! <laughs> Hello friends, I wanted to show you the beginning of the process of making a notebook. Um, excuse me, because I guess I thought you wanted to know. So first I decided to laminate, double laminate the cover of it. And that's because that's exactly how I have it on that happy planner that I was just um, showing you earlier. It is basically like a thick lamination and it seems to be such a well neat um, look for the notebook and that's why I'm doing this. So I'm cutting both, um, I'm laminating it, I'm printing it, I've already designed it. I am going to cut the corners afterwards and the cutting part actually is kind of tricky because I have to make sure both sides are like exactly the same and I wish I had a better uh, guillotine but this is what I have and I have to work with that and I basically just use a ruler and I try to measure that everything is exactly the same if there's a little bit of like a millimeter I just go ahead and cut it again and here I am making round corners. We are going to make some round corners so that they look very nice and clean. And then I go ahead and actually laminate everything all over again. After both um, laminations have ended and I've cut the front cover, the cinch um, allows you to do a larger uh, hole punching or um, the size of the hole punches that you can see in front of you. So in order for you to, the first thing I do is just punch the first, I believe there are 12 holes and then you can see on the top part there's a little bit of um, missing so it's really important to lever down which you see here that I didn't do this little circle um, item that you'll see and then you make sure that the holes are punched correctly I will also print the sheets that are going to go inside of it which are a hundred and sixty sheets um, I also cut them and make sure that they are the right size with a guillotine and that's why I decided to buy a little bit of a um, heavier guillotine for that purpose because it'll be easier to cut more sheets at a time and I also use a paper that is 20 pounds so it's a thick paper thicker than you know just standard so it can kind of hold like something that you want to highlight something that you want to write on and it's also 92 level brightness so it's a really nice white bright i will go ahead and cut every um set i think i'm cutting them like by tens um and i'm really scared that they don't come out right so i have to go there and like redo 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 until they come out the best way possible Essentially, everything that you hole punch has to be the same measurement of the initial cover sheet. 
Now these holes like 10, 11 and 12 will be pulled out because those are the ones that you will be able to remove once you are actually the seven. I'm thinking of the larger size, sorry. Um, the ones that you will be able to pull out so that the circles are done correctly. After you start adding the sheets to the holes, make sure everything is aligned. The uh, binding wires have to be uh, looped downwards and then the machine will help you press them close together. You choose whatever inches on the very top, as you can see, are the ones that apply to yours. So you move the little um, dialer to whichever one you need. It'll have like one inch, one and a half inch of whatever um, tightness is it, it's going to be like. Um, and yep, that's the last part. They all have to be the same size. So I was kind of playing along with this one because this is the first time that I do it. So that I had them um, all the same size and I was able to maneuver it. Um, this is, I think this is almost like something that can adapt to each person because I feel like the pressure that each person has for it can vary, even though it's a simple movement, but you might feel like, oh, it needs to be a little bit tighter, a little bit less tighter. And there you go. That is the final notebook.